Hey Blender Bob here, I want to talk to you about capturing the hands. When you do mocap, you need to capture the hands. Now on Tiki, we use the Movella mocap system for the entire body, but it, it doesn't do the hands. So for that, you need to use another system from another company. Well, there are two systems available. I want to talk to you about this one. It's called uh, Stretch Sense, and uh, they have two models of gloves. So this one here, which is, this is the left hand. By the way, thank you so much Stretch Sense for sponsoring us on the Tiki movie. So that's the low end model and they also sent me the high hand model which is this one here much bigger this one covers the entire fingers and you have the zipper on the side that you need to uh, it's a little bit tricky to zip and you want to make sure you don't get half of your hair with it as you do it okay so now it's done there's a velcro on it here on both of them so you can attach the sensors as needed for the gloves if you use the Movella mocap system. So here yeah, I got my sensors. Uh, no, actually this one goes here. So the sensors are installed on the hands. So I'm ready to mocap. So how does it work? Well, it has its own software that you will use to first to calibrate the system. You need to calibrate it and then you will stream it into the XN system. This is the software that will allow you to capture the data, calibrate the gloves and stream it to another software. Click on the yellow button to start the calibration and just follow the instructions. Okay, I will fast forward to the next step. This is just the basic calibration, but as you can see, it's not super precise. So for that, you may want to go into the advanced calibration. As you can see, there are many other choices that you can choose from the pose library to decide what you want to calibrate, give more emphasis on. So in this case, I chose the thumb. And then you go through all the steps to get a better calibration. Streaming to the Xsend system is also very easy. All you need to do is to go into the edit settings and then you just turn on the streaming for the Xsend system and that's it. On the Xsend side, you just need to edit the configurations and you're going to click on the finger tab here and you choose which kind of gloves you have. So there are two ways. There's the Manus VR and the streaming gloves. This is the one we want. And then you just choose the left and the right here and you are good to go. You don't need to change the port. You don't need to do anything. It just works. And you see, that's me sitting on my chair, moving my fingers. Each glove needs to communicate with one of these dongles here. So this is for capturing the data from the glove. Uh, the distance is pretty good. We were at least like 30 feet away, at least 30 feet away when we did the Tiki. We never had any issues with this. And I think it has an internal system to record also. So if it's too far away, it's going to record internally. And then later it's going to transfer the data onto the system. Uh, so make sure you have at least two USB ports available but you can use a, uh, a hub, it's gonna work anyway. Uh, we tried it and it worked with the hub. For the batteries, uh, on Tiki we didn't use this system because we had the, uh, the high-end one, so we used this one instead. We never ran out of batteries as we were doing the mocap, so it lasts for a very, very long time, which is awesome. The glove itself is uh, very comfortable. Uh, of course, after a while, you just wanna get, you know, get rid of it, but that's the same for the entire uh, mocap suit because it's super tight and uh, you just wanna, you know, after a while, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty stuffy. But yeah, it is uh, It is comfortable. The zipper here can become a little bit annoying here because it just gets into your skin. Uh, so I don't know, maybe put something under. I don't know if there's something we could do to avoid this problem. Uh, I don't know if they can change the position of the zipper for next version. I don't know. But, uh, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a cool system. It works. Uh, for the precision, I would say it will do 90% of the job that you need to do. Uh, it's, uh, it, it has a hard time with positions like this. If you have your thumb at 90 degrees, uh, it has a hard time with this. But how often do you have to do this in real life? Usually you're like this, you talk, you, do, you play the piano, play guitar, whatever. Uh, you hold a gun. You never have your, your, your thumb like this. So that's why I say in 90, 95% of the situation, this will work perfectly. And you don't need to do a lot of uh, uh, fixes after later when you do the mocap. Of course, the company always makes hardware and software updates. So this could be fixed in the next release. So there you have it, the Stretch Sense uh, hand capturing system. If you want more information, go to their website. The link is in the description. All right, bye.